Bible says, woe unto sure. just God's judgment. Can I, can I have See, to turn it down so I can hear just for a second? Anyone. The Word okay. of God has already judged Sir? you. Sir? It found you Sir? wanting. You, you are in need of Jesus Christ today. The Bible says. You can speak to me. The yes, Bible sir. says we are you commanded, right and we are Lord, also equipped ordinance. to love. They're using our neighbors. application right there. We are second. commanded to they're, love. They're, our they're, neighbors. they're using application if right there, and they're using amplification over there. Fire yeah. Fire burning down, and they were facing imminent death. Sure. There is a city ordinance. I work for the sheriff's the office. Of um, I am trying to get a Golden Valley opinion. officer out here just to talk with you guys. It's okay if you want to protest, but we can't have We're that. I understand the, the religious God. faith faith. Let's if that's okay, if we can just God not do that right now. But but they have you amplification going God on there, and we have a right to be heard. I understand you have the you right to be heard, that. and with them, they had permission to do God that. It's live music. I know. They're not, they're not um, sharing hateful messages, which in the eyes of people here at the Pride are feeling like this is... That's not hateful. And there's no laws on the books for hate no, speech. No, I understand. So what you're citing to me, what you're saying to me right now is illegal. Okay. You're trying to stop my free speech. I you're, am not. So. Yeah, you just did. No, no. You just told me that my speech oh, is. Just, yeah, you just you just told me that my that my free speech is hateful. Okay. And that you can shut it down because it's hateful. Okay. So that's what you said also, to me. Can I share with you something? Though? Sure. Okay. The, the pride event, the people that are putting on this event, they're fine with you being here. Okay. It's just what you're saying right now. They're not okay with it. They don't have to be okay with it. Well, my job is to make sure that they're not feeling that this is to this pride, right? Right. This is their right to be here too. So. But there's nothing in the in the First Amendment. There's nothing in the First Amendment that says that somebody's feelings have to be taken into account for my free speech. Okay. It's serious. So what's your name? Jason. Jason, I'm Pete Devine, Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just talked with um, this is the Golden Valley officer there. So uh huh. Just showing you. If you want to read this, you can kind of get a feel for why they're asking you to bring it down. God created you. Why? The Bible says, for His pleasure. For His. Is your life pleasing to your Creator today? I think they're okay with you know, being here. They're not, but they act like they I mean, are, but I get, I get it. You know, being on the ground. So right. Well, here's the well, well, the well. Here's here's the here's the issue. Um, public preaching is is not uh, has been ruled that it is not a disturbance of peace. It's a constitutional right recognized by the Constitution. As far as the amp goes, we have a right to be heard. So the, the sound, the ambient noise that's around is louder than our voices can be heard. Well, they're saying something different from what you're saying, so I'm just trying to get both stories. But this is enforcing this is their city ordinance. Yeah. And they want to enforce it at some point here. I just want you to know this is well, what we're looking at. I, it, what, would you, what would you like to do so we can meet in the middle? Well, the, the only thing... I mean, I'm already standing out here. I'm not on top of them up there. Because honestly, I could preach with my naked voice and go right up on the sidewalk. So I figured I have the liberty to do that. It's a public park. And, and the ordinance, this ordinance can be challenged here. I've come out here, right? So I don't disturb them in there. Right. No, I hear what you're saying. So that's what I've, that's, that's, that's what we've already done on purpose. I know there's a purpose to this. Um, I just want to know how we can be the I understand everybody has their right, and I, I get it. We're here to support, you know, people of all people because mm -hmm. we're the sheriff's office. Right. But essentially, this is their city ordinance. So they kind of make the rules. We'll go under their guise to see what they want to do. Right. And if they don't want to enforce it, then we're good, right? Right. But if they're not, how do you want us to? Well, I mean, I if if they decide they're going to try to enforce the sound ordinance against me, then. I guess we'll have to challenge it. That's all we can do. And if we have to challenge it in court, then we have to challenge it in court. We've, been, we've, you know, our lawyers have been through it before, so it's not a new thing to us. Yeah. And I'm, I'm new here. This is my first year at Pride, so right. um, 
have we had other groups? Yes, we have. But I think we can meet in the middle somewhere and still see the message. I can see your message from where where we're at. I right. have to be honest to God. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus, here I am using your name. Um, honestly, I can still hear and see your message. Right. Even without, you know, verbalizing it. So I right. just want to make sure we're, you know, working together. Nobody wants to. I have, we have kids here and whatnot, too. And, you know, whatever we decide to what we believe in, just being respectful to just one another. So, sure. I don't know. Are you able to kind of help and meet in the middle? And just, I'll let you talk about it amongst yourselves first. Well, I got to get a feel what they want to do. I honestly think I'm agreeing with you. You're right to be here. But let's meet in the middle and be respectful. Because sometimes we have to agree to disagree. So I'll be right back and I'll let you talk about it. Okay. We're mere men. We can't condemn anybody. But we can certainly tell you, you're condemned already, according to the Holy Scriptures. You're condemned already. You are condemned. People have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus died on the cross for sinners. And he was buried. And he rose again from the dead, that in him you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. The Bible said that he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I surely hope that, that the preaching of the gospel is not becoming illegal over here. I sure hope that my First Amendment rights aren't being trampled. Yes, you can. What is your name, sir? My name is Jason Cooley. Okay. I'm the pastor of Old Pass Baptist Church in Northfield, Minnesota. I'm out here exercising my First Amendment rights. Well, the problem is there's a city ordinance that says you can't use amplified devices. So is the city ordinance against my First Amendment? No, no. Well, that's an ambient noise that's louder than, than, than I can be heard with my naked voice. And it has to be pre-approved, and that's been permitted. Right. And I, but I don't have to have a permit to preach the Bible. You can't use an amplified device. I can if it's over my, no, over the, the naked voice, the no, sound. The ambient, ambient noise is louder. If you continue, you'll be cited for disorderly conduct. You're going to cite me with disorderly conduct for preaching the gospel of Jesus no, Christ. You're using the amplified device. You're, you're, what's that? Can you turn that down while we're speaking? Sure. We can hear you and you can hear Sure, me. sure. So there's a city ordinance. I'm the police chief here in Golden. Yes, sir. There's a city ordinance that says that you have to have prior approval from the city of Golden Valley to have any kind of amplified uh, such as this here. We're not saying that you have to leave. We're just saying that the city ordinance says that you cannot use that type of, of amplified megaphone to, uh, to use. So, so everybody else here, this festival has approval from the city to to do so. Now, if you choose to, next year you can go to the city and get permission to do so, but you have to have prior approval from the city to use an amplifier. So what's your ordinance say? What, what does ordinance? it say? Have yeah. you been shown the ordinance? No, I just got a screenshot of a picture that didn't look like an ordinance to me. It looked like something somebody put together. No, that was the actual ordinance. Okay, can you read the ordinance to me? I'll have to look it up here. I wasn't the one that pulled it up. You want me to go get the number from her, whatever the ordinance? Yeah, I think I got it on an email. So do you believe we can realistically be heard out here over the Indian rules? Well, there again, yeah. they've got permission from right. the festival. Right, but the ambient so. noise doesn't get the call. Well, free, it's not, it's not you're using the word of ambient noise. Yes. We're saying an amplified so megaphone. So speech doesn't say that you have to be heard. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh wow, you know, you're really in danger of getting sued right now. And I'm glad I have this, you have this all right? You're getting all this good, good, yeah. It's wonderful, isn't it? Once again, we're not trying to violate your rights. But you are, sir. There's a city ordinance that says what you can and you cannot do. Do you know that the, okay, I'll let you speak. Okay, but do you know that your city ordinances can be counted unconstitutional? Have you I mean, ever seen that? Argument, that's an argument between you and the court. You are right about that. And the lawsuit and, and is an argument can, after that, too. we can't dispute that here on these grounds. Right, so if you're going to... That, that you don't agree with... Oh, I definitely don't. You would have to 
petition the courts to take the city of Golden Valley to court and to, to sue them to say, hey, this happened and this happened. So again, I can't argue with you. That's a judge. And I'm right. Not a judge. I'm right. So you're just going to violate my rights now. Once again, it's not violating your rights. It's it is. I can't be heard. The ordinance, we're going off of what the ordinance says. Well, basically, if you're if you're threatening to cite me, okay, I'll, I'll let you finish. I'd like to hear the ordinance, though. I wasn't threatening. I said if you continue with it, you will That sounded like a threat to me. That's not a threat. No, you're just telling me what you're going to do. Correct. Right. Not a threat. Right. And that's, that's called uh, chilling my rights, but that's okay. Okay. But you, you don't believe that because you guys never get challenged, so okay. that's why. Well, we get challenged all the time. Not with the law, you don't. Not with somebody that actually so, knows what they're doing, but that's okay. So, I'll let you finish, sir. So here's what... I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you. I'm trying to uphold my rights. So here's what the city ordinance states. City code uh, section 18-2 prohibits the use of sound amplified upon the street's public property without prior written permission from the city. Okay. So there's no decibel sound level for that. There's no, um, it doesn't say a decibel level that I can reach. It basically, what I just read is that you have to have prior approval from the city to use any kind of amplified megaphone or anything. So for those who are in this festival who are using, you know, music or whatever, they've got prior approval from the festival as well as the city to do so. Okay. So like I said, you're more than welcome to stand here, but you well, cannot use that. Well, if, I'm, if, if, my, if, my, if my rights are going to be violated to be heard, then I'm going right up on the sidewalk and preaching, because then I'm right there. Because that's the only thing I can do. And there again, if, if somebody says, hey, you're, you're, that's what they don't want, you know, whatever, then that's between, now we've got another problem. Where, right. So we do. We're just saying, if you want to be here and and speak to say whatever you want to say you just cannot use that amplifier right so in order to be heard i have to go up on the sidewalk though because i'm not going to be able to be heard out well, here so you, let's say you go next to one of those booths up there and mm -hmm. you're saying that you are disturbing them now you're telling me my free speech is stopped i don't saying that we that's again that's that individual's right just like you have your rights but right you're saying that their feelings trump our right to i'm not saying anything about feelings hold, hold on I'll, it's okay it's okay i'll take so, care of it so no it's okay that that i would like to do is speak with one person yeah you can speak with me sir that's okay okay yeah because i think then no. that's where we, we start going off on, on a different path Right. Okay. No, you're, you're, I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that. Yep. And I'm trying to be respectful of you, and I'm just hoping that you be respectful of what I'm asking. Well, I mean, I've already been threatened with citation. Well, that wasn't a threat. Well, he said it. He basically said, if you don't do this, this could lead to... Well, what do you call that, then? I don't call it a threat. Well, what is it called legally, then? Well, legally, just basically informing you of what potentially could happen. Right. Well, but I have a question for you. If you're in charge, why is he threatening me with citation? Well, they're the county sheriff. They're here with Golden Valley Police Department. They have jurisdiction in Hennepin County because they're the Hennepin County Sheriff. Okay. So, so it would be the sheriff's department that's citing me. It would not be the it would not be the the police department. The, they have jurisdiction in Golden Valley. They're Hennepin County. So it'd be you. It'd be the the county. Do you guys not know the difference, or I'm just okay. I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, I think if it comes to that, we'll explain. It. Well, you should explain it now, shouldn't you? I mean, if you're threatening me, I'm so, not threatening you. I'm telling you what would likely happen. Well, what's the difference in that and a threat? Depends how you take that. Right. And I'm explaining to you what the consequences of your actions are. Right. It's not a threat. Okay. What? Sounds like soft. Right. But okay. So here's the thing. Okay. So I, I'm just getting this straight. If I don't put this away, or if I use this, you're telling me you're going to cite me. That's that's it. Because we, we basically, I basically just read you what the city ordinance says, and that if that continues on after us asking you, hey, this is not something that you can do, and if you continue on, then you're putting your, you're putting yourself in a situation where that could lead to a citation for a violation. Of and that, again, that's something that you go to court, you take up with the judge. Oh, yeah, it's it's done. Because a lot of times officers like to stop free speech. Well, it, it's, this isn't Fortunately. About, this isn't anything hey. about free speech. This isn't anything about free speech. It's yeah. just a shame, man. It, it really is. Because you guys are supposed to be upholding the law. 
Well, this is that is, yeah. so, no, that's not the law. It, then your then your ordinance is unconstitutional. Then, you know what? We enforce the laws that are in place. Right. Can't do anything more than that. I'm just following orders, right? That's it. Hey, that's what they said. I'm just following orders. That's what they all said. That's what the Nazis said when they drove them into the camps. I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders. That's what they said. So you okay. have the right to go to any city council, Golden Valley, Minneapolis, any city council, and, and bring that to their Right. Right. Well, yeah, I... It'll be more of a federal injunction than that, because I'm not even going to mess with that, because they don't care what you say. They, they kick people out of city council meetings, don't let them talk, so that's the way that works. Here's a copy of what the ordinance is. Down, I think it's like number three or so on the bottom, it covers the uh, amplified device if you wanted a copy of it. Private property. It says, uh, okay, use the sound amplifier upon streets, public property with pro prior written permission from the city or on any private property in a manner knowing or having reasonable grounds to know that it will or will tend to alarm, anger, disturb others, or provoke any assaults or breach of the, of the peace. Okay. So, so this is, uh, so, boy, this is a really generalized, when was this put in place, do you know? Because this is a super generalized, why did why wasn't it enforced last year when I was here? Was I preached. To, it was brought to our attention after the festival by, by the, the people who organized the festival that this had happened, and so this year we wanted to make sure that we were clear what the ordinance states. And so you're here, so now yeah, we're just making sure that you're aware of what that city ordinance said. Yeah, I'm aware of it now. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen it. Yeah. We've had people ask to kick you guys out, and I've told them we can't. I know. Here, First Amendment, you guys can do it. The only thing, the only issue is what the amplified device. Otherwise, you guys can stay here. There's no issue with that. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, in order to be heard, I'm going to have to go up there. That's that's the only op that's the only option I have. And there Since again, you would be creating another problem because if a person who is, who is paid for a booth space and you're there, then now you're causing it. You're causing it. But I have a First Amendment right to be in this park and to preach. You can, again, like I said, all these people who are here have my permission or paid to be here by the project. I know. Now, if you decide to walk up and down, now if somebody says, hey, these people are disturbing me, or I don't want my kids hearing that, then now here we are coming back to you saying something to you about them. Yeah, I know. Now, that person has the right to say, well, hey, I'll sign a citation against this group or this person, that's that person's right. So now you're just kind of creating another step of a problem. So what you're so what you're saying, so what you're saying to me is is that I don't have any right at all. You're saying that no, you're saying you just did. You just told me I can't go. You're saying, well you can't go up there. You can't Right. Uh, that that you well, can't. I'm, what I'm basically saying is that you have rights like they have rights. So do you want to violate those people's rights? But you don't want nobody to violate your right. I'm not violating their rights. I have a right to be heard. The right is to the speaker, not to the listener. But there again, it's that person's right to say, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I and I can still keep speaking. They don't but have to want to hear it. If, once again, you're next to a group. Who somebody has paid for that or got permission to be there. Right. So, once again, that would be creating another... No, well, it's going to create an incident, but it's not because of me. It's because of the fact that that they're stopping me from preaching. I can't be heard. You want me to preach back here where nobody can hear me to a bunch of people that I came to preach to. Well, there again, you said that you came to preach to them. I did come to preach to them. Okay. So let's just say you were at that intersection right there. Right. You can, you can do that all day long. I can do it right there all day long. That's a public park. Well, but there again, you can't use that later. I know. You told me I couldn't. So now I got to go up on the sidewalk and preach. Because you, you're you're not letting me use it right here. I was fine right here, but you guys didn't. That wasn't okay. Well, it, it basically, I'm just enforcing what the city ordinance says. That's what they say. That's what they say. Okay. Don't matter. I I know you guys don't like what we do and you don't like what we say. So I, if this isn't personal. This is not personal at all. Sure seems like it.
Right. Sure seems like it. Well, I'm going to give you my card. If you have any other questions or any other concerns, you can come and contact me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.